Good morning. Can you name three Christian attitudes you should have? We're looking at 1 Thessalonians 5, verses 16 to 18. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. So it's RPT. If you want a, a little memory helper here, just take the first letter on each one. R, rejoice always. P, pray without ceasing. And T, in all things or in everything give thanks. Joy is important. Joy is like a medicine. In the Bible, God wants us, he tells us he wants us to be joyful because he wants us, he wants our goodwill. There's always something to be joyful about. And there's Always things to be gloomy about, but why focus on those? The way our world is today, we can all use an added dose of joy. I wish I could get joy in a bottle, but you know what? I get it. I don't need it in a bottle. I just need to be joyful. So all three of these are about attitude and perspective. And with so much strangeness in the world right now, that's kind of like number one, some of the big stuff we need, right? Some really serious attitude help and perspective help. To pray without ceasing doesn't mean to curl up into a little ball and sit in the corner and wait for Jesus to come. To pray without ceasing means all the way across your day, from the beginning to the end of your day, you uh, have a, a mind and heart ready, and you're, you're connecting with God, you're seeking Him, you're going back and forth. You have a spirit of prayer, and you're talking to Him conversationally all through the day. Now, this little gadget cost me hundreds of dollars, but, uh, you know, don't need it for prayer. Set that aside. I could just talk to God direct. And it can't be censored. Take that, guys. When there's an epidemic, I mean a real true blue epidemic of loneliness across this land, there's all kinds of people that are, you know, six feet apart. We've all got to stay six feet apart. I mean, yikes. That's not human. You know, it's interesting, all these, this secular, atheistic worldview that's out there that's so predominant today. There is no God. We're just kind of on our own here, selling along on on battleship Earth, and we hope an asteroid doesn't hit us and wipe us out, or that we don't nuke ourselves or, or destroy ourselves through some kind of a human-generated plague. Don't know where we'd ever get an idea like that. And we come to, in everything, give thanks. And again, here's a spirit, an attitude for us to have all through the day, to be thankful. To give thanks in everything means to accept that God loves you, God, God believes in you, He's with you, He wants your good, He's acting providentially for our lives, for our good. We can trust him. We're in his nail-pierced hands. How can we do better than that? So if we keep repeating these kinds of action, and I mean repeating, RPT, our life is going to be emotionally different. Hey, let's pray right now. Dear Father in heaven, these, this counsel from you is very special. These things that you're suggesting to us are so important, and it is so needed, and yet we have neglected them. Lord, please uh, help us to repent Please forgive us for this, and then let's be connected. Let's be connected, Lord. Give us that spirit. Help us to seek out that spirit of joyfulness. This kind of medicine of these attitudes, Lord, is what we need. Help us. This day can be different from yesterday, dramatically different, as we RPT all day long. Lord, thank you for these gifts. Thank you for Jesus, through whom these gifts are available to me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So I encourage you to join me in repeating these practices. Hey, God be with you. Have a wonderful day.